You said you feel alone <laughs> 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 I hate to be reminded that you're on your own You could have called somebody near instead of waiting half a year for me to see your face <laughs> in the morning right now and today we are going to Toronto with the club that I am co-president of um, and we are taking a group of students to tour labs so we're going to sick kids university health a couple other labs kind of in that hospital district so I thought I would bring you guys along super exciting we've been trying to do this for like three years since I started the club and we're finally doing it so really early morning it's okay I have my breakfast being made downstairs and I'm gonna go pick up Ethan and Jordan who are the other execs in the club, Jordan's co-pres and we're gonna go to Toronto. I'm super excited, I'll show you guys along. Yeah. Show you quickly what I'm wearing today. So all the loo fit. Had to do it too. I'm wearing my dance studio host. I'm wearing like a mock neck top underneath and then just like a pullover. It's gonna be really cold in Toronto today when I get 21. The long puff is coming with me. So bringing my hydro flask and some masks, and I'm gonna put my hydro flask in Jordan's backpack. I go make my breakfast. I need to like go pick everyone up, so I need to get a move on. Thank you guys for watching. I haven't made a video in a while, but thank you guys always for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I just moved my car to my friend's house. Um, Ethan is on my way. It's a really fucking boat, so hopefully he comes. The bus is there. We're signing people in. There's like two people at either left. So. Yeah. Okay, we are in Toronto and we're taking the path. We have the whole it's squad behind right us. Now, guys. Yeah. <laughs> we're like taking the path. I just feel like I'm an elementary school teacher. Yeah, it's Wait. the vibes. I can't. It's too obvious. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, oh look how cute that thing is. Uh oh, um, okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Never okay. mind. I'll keep you updated when we get lost, probably. Yeah. Feel. It was good. I feel like yeah. we did a good job. <laughs> Gave it twice. <laughs> um, and we were gonna go to Starbucks, but it's too cold and we don't want to walk. And we're not and, caught up and, on it. And her, what's it called? Yeah. Her order ahead, ahead isn't working. working. So yeah. we're not doing it anymore. Yeah. I'm not that mad. Yeah, it's negative 20 right now. Is this one? Like, what's like the like, shit? Yeah, we should. <laughs> we should. Like, okay, we're gonna structure? do some research for this lab, but oh my God, we'll it's talk to you soon. Good. Hey guys. Um, here from the future. I just wanted to quickly explain what this trip kind of was because I don't really get an opportunity to talk about that. Basically, Jordan and I are the co-founders and co-presidents of this club at Western called the Undergraduate Pathology Alliance at Western. It's for the pathology department here within medical sciences um, and a really big goal of ours when we started this club two and a half, three years ago was that we wanted to do a Toronto lab trip tour. We weren't able to do it last year or the year before because of COVID, but now that things have finally opened up, we managed to book four tours across Toronto to let us and a group of 20 other students come in and see the facilities, network with researchers, as well as their postdocs and grad students, and really get to see what the labs kind of look like. So that's kind of what we're doing for the rest of this trip. 
I will continue to update you throughout the vlog because as Ezra and I run into these things, I don't always have the opportunity to just pull out my phone. A lot of the times we were on a time crunch and we had to get to the next lab on time. So the first tour that we ended up seeing was the Howl tour and that was in the Sick Kids building. It was a really, really cool facility and they showed us around their wet lab, showed us some of the tech that they have going on. It was really great. We got to learn a lot about the biofilm they're studying in terms of bacteria. So the next tour that we ended up going to was last minute across the city at University Hospital West. We trekked 30 minutes in negative 30 across the city and we toured Dr. Robert Chen's lab and he does a lot of movement disorders, particularly Parkinson's. Unfortunately, we couldn't get any footage in there, uh, but it was a really cool experience and definitely a lot different than the last one. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's us. This might be a good reel. Hey, y'all. Hey. <laughs> um, so we just finished up the second tour. It was not as like small type stuff. It was like more patient-based. Yeah, it was interesting. We yeah. saw some girl's brain. It was cool. Yeah. Um, we're going to Uber back and get ramen with Marcus now. He's coming yeah. to meet us. We are Ubering there because it's cold and also we don't have that much time. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm vlogging tonight, Marcus. Do you want to be in my vlog? These are the go in. The last two labs we booked were in the same building, a lot to do with hematopathology. They definitely structured their tour a little bit differently. So the first one was with Dr. Branch, and he had a couple of his postdocs come in and do presentations on what their research was on. And then they took us up and saw parts of what they do in their everyday life um, when they're running their experiments and doing their research. Along with the, uh, all the RBCs that have been fungicide by them. So counting is not... The second group, we did a little bit more of like a sit down Q&A type of thing. We talked to grad students, PH and two PhD students within the Lazarus lab. That way a lot of the students that came on the trip with us got to ask a lot of questions about things that have come up during the day that they weren't sure about, how they got into grad school, what led them there, what it's like doing your PhD versus grad school, and where they kind of see themselves going in the future. So kind of setting up more of their careers career-wise than the actual research, which I definitely think was good considering it's the end of a really long day for them. <laughs> well, we got to the bus station and <laughs> they just said that it was like yeah. half an hour. So we are going back to get snacks because- yeah, we're hungry as fuck. Yeah, and I want bubble tea. It's not gonna be the bubble tea I wanted, but but it'll be a bubble tea. It'll be a bubble tea. <laughs> so it'll so, clench that, that flavor. That, that, a little that, bit. Yeah. A little. I'm worried that no one's going to come back on I'm, time. I don't know. I'm worried people are going to come at 5 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we done our, our job. <laughs> we done our job. True. We've done our best. They know when the bus is coming, so it's okay. <laughs> I think we need to have faith in them. But they'll come. Yeah. After today though? I don't know. Yeah, we've lost so Oh my god. I feel like every time like so many people got lost. But we found them. We did find them. Just they were on time though. And that doesn't help when the bus leaves when it leaves. Yeah. 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 Yeah.